Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement awesome notification in your Flutter application. I created this demo and we have first normal notification. Normal notification has a title and a body and then notification with a summary. The summary would appear here and title and body same and progress bar notification. You can manipulate this as you wish and message notification. So if we expand the notification here the summary would appear at the top then there is an icon for it and big image notification it may take a while to show it because i have it as network image so this is our notification and this is our image and we have action buttons notification so if i click check it out it will navigate to another screen and let me go back and finally we have scheduled notification which I gave an interval of five seconds. So after five seconds, the notification would appear. And this is our scheduled notification. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss our content. All right, to get started, we need to add this package into our pubspec.yaml. It does support iOS and Android, but in this video, I'm just gonna use it for Android. So make sure you add it in your pubspec.yaml here. And we're gonna need to do some Android configuration. So expand Android, expand app, go to build the Gradle and make sure min SDK version 21, target SDK version is 33, along with compile SDK version to 33 as well. Now expand SRC, expand main and open Android manifest. And you need to make sure to add these two permissions, which is scheduled exact alarm and access notification, along with making sure that exported is true. All right, now let me show you the project structure. So basically inside main, I just have secondary color and currently we're returning a size box. Inside widgets, I have top bar, which has container, then box decoration with the linear gradient and some colors, and then padding the text title. And inside services, it's empty, screens empty. So now let's get started. All right, now we will start with the screens. So we'll create the first screen, which we will call second screen dot dart. All right, we will start with the import. So we will import the top bar and flutter material. Then we will create a stateless widget called second screen. Now inside the build, we will return a scaffold. Inside the scaffold, we will have a background color as colors dot blue. Then body as container. Inside the container, we will give it a child as sized box. And then we'll give decoration to the container as box decoration give and give it a gradient as linear gradient with colors. And the two colors are colors primary from theme and colors dot gray with 200. Now inside the size box, we will give it the full height. And then as a child, we'll give it a column. Now inside the column, inside the children, we will have the top bar with the title second screen and then spacer and then center text navigated from notification then spacer and that's it for the second screen now we will start creating the service so inside the services we will create notification underscore service dot dart and now we will start implementing all right so we will start with the imports so we will import main and we will import the second screen along with the package itself then we will create a class which is notification service and inside it we will create a static future void initialize notification which is async now inside it we can say await awesome notification dot initialize and this takes many parameters first we will pass the first parameter as null which is the logo if you have a logo pass it here otherwise pass it null to take the default then it takes a list of notification channel so i will pass only one and inside it it has many attributes such as channel group key and channel key along with channel name you can change this to whatever you want as well as channel description and it also takes default color and let color and importance i will set it to max and show badge to true and only alert once to true and play sound to true and critic critical alerts to true and you can change this to whatever you want if you want true false 
Now we can pass channel groups, which is a list of channel groups. I will only pass one, which is notification channel group, channel group key, high importance channel key, channel group name, give it a name, and you can pass debug to true or false. Now, after we do that, we can say await awesome notification dot is notification allowed. So we need to check the permission on the notification. So we can say dot then, then inside it, we have a bool is allowed and it's a method, so it's async, and we can check if different from allowed. So if we don't have permission, we can say await awesome notification dot request permission to send notifications. Now to track the notification, by that I mean to see when the notification is displayed, being clicked on, or all of that, we can set listeners. So we can say await awesome notifications dot set listener, and we have some listeners such as on notification re received method and on notification created method on notification displayed method and finally on action on dismiss action received method and i'll name it all of them the same now i will write a, a comment for what this method do so we will have on notification created method which takes in received notification as notification and this is async. Now inside it, I will just have the bug print, the name of the notification. Same for on notification displayed method. And then we have on, notif on dismiss action received method. It's the same. And finally, we have the last method, which is on action received method. Now this takes received method as well. And I will have the bug print as well. But here, I'm going to check on the payload. So I will create a payload, which is received notification dot payload. Otherwise, because it might be null, it's just empty. So if payload we will have a key navigate equal equal to true. So I will just use the navigator key that I have in main app and I will push to another page. So material page route builder and I will push to the second screen. All right, now we're done with the listener. So we will create the notification that actually shows the notification. So we will have show notification as async. Now inside here, since there's so many ways of showing the notifications, we will not create multiple methods. Instead, we will send the params. So first inside, we will have a required final string title along with body and nullable summary as a string and nullable payload which is map string and the string and then action type as action type the default and notification layout as notification layout the default then nullable category nullable big picture and notification actions which is a list and bool schedule and then uh, nullable interval int now first i'll create an assert which check the scheduled and the interval so you can pass scheduled as true without passing the interval now after we're done with this assert we'll create awesome notification dot create notification now inside it we will have content which is notification content inside the content we will pass id as minus one which means take whatever id you want we will not specify a specific id then channel key which is high importance channel and then title as the title, body as the type, body, action type as action type, notification layout, summary, category, everything that we specified inside the params, we can pass it in here. Now, finally, we can pass schedule, which we will check if the schedule is true. We will check, we will pass notification interval as interval inside it. And then we will have a time zone, which is await awesome notification dot get local time zone identifier and precise alarm to throw. Otherwise, if it's false, we will pass the schedule as null. And that's it. That's all what we have to do for this service. All right. So now we'll go to the widgets and create a notification button. We will call it notification underscore button dot dar, but make sure we call it notification with an I. And we will just have style button. All right, so we will start with the imports. We'll import filter material, and then we'll create a stateless widget, which is notification button, and we will have final 
void callback on pressed and final string text and we will take them as required in the constructor then inside the build we will just return a padding with padding dot only and left to 30 right to 30 top to 20 and bottom to 10 then as a child we will have a size box which would take the full width of the screen and then we will pass height as 50 and then for the child we will have elevated button and we will pass a style so elevated button dot style from we will give it shadow color from the themes and then we will give it background color which is the primary color that we have and on the only pressed we will have the only pressed and the child we will have it text as the text we got and that's it for this button all right now we will create the home screen so we'll go to the screens and we'll create a file we will call it home underscore screen dot dart all right so we will start with the imports as usual so we will import the notification service that we created along with the notification button and the top bar and the package also awesome notification and flutter material then then we will create a stateless widget which is home screen inside it we have return scaffold the background same as second screen colors that blue and then container inside it we have a column and then we have decoration as books decoration we'll give it gradient as linear gradient with colors and the same colors for second screen which is primary and colors with the gray now inside the columns we have children the fair would and we will pass cross axis alignment to center and main axis alignment to start now the children the first one we will have to bar as awesome notification for the title then notification button now inside the notification button we will have the normal notification so we will pass text as normal notification then inside the only pressed we will have await notification service the show notification and we will pass the title as title of the notification body as body of the notification now we will create another notification button so we will have text as notification with summary and on the only pressed it's the same as the above however we have here summary as well and we will pass the summary as small summary and for this button we will also pass notification layout as notification layout dot inbox then we will create the third notification button which will has text as progress bar notification and inside the only press same we will have await notification service dot notification title same body same summary same but here in the notification layout we will have progress bar instead of inbox then we will create the other notification so inside here the text would be message notification and inside the only press we will have the title the body and summary along with notification layout as messaging and then we will have the big image notification now inside the unpressed here inside the notification service the chart notification we will have title body summary and notification layout as big picture however we will also pass the big picture that we created which is this picture moving on to this button which is action buttons notification which will have inside the show notification title same title body same body payload now we need to pass a payload here in order to navigate so we'll go to the navigation service and inside here we checked on the payload if it has navigate as true so we will pass pass this key as navigate to string true then we will have action buttons so here we will pass notification action button which has which takes key label icon and some else now we'll pass key and label as check it out then action button as silent action and that's it for this notification button now for the other notification which is scheduled notification inside the only pressed inside the show notification we'll pass title and body different type different body this time and schedule as true now if we pass it as this it will crash because of the assert so we have to pass an interval so here i will pass the interval as five and that's it that's all what we have to do in this home screen now before we run the app we need to do something inside main so after widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized we need to say await notification service 
not screen but service dot initialize notification and then inside the home instead of size box we will pass the home screen instead and that's it now let's run the app to see if it's working or not all right the app is running and it asked for permission so i will allow the notifications and now if i click normal notification we get the notification if we click progress bar notification we get it too if we click big image notification it might take a while because it's a network image and if i click action button it took me after i click on the checked out and here's the big image and that was all thank you guys for watching and if you like the video make sure to like it comment down below and i will see you in the next video